Hello and welcome back to another devotion. Uh, my name is Emilio and I'm coming to you guys from S12 Recovery Studios. And today's devotion is from 1 John chapter 1, verse 8, and it reads, If we say we have no sin, we are deceiving ourselves, and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, he is faithful and righteous to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. When you hear that saying, if we were to say that we have no sin, man, we have all sinned and we all fall short of the glory of God. But the key component right here, other than God's righteousness and his forgiveness, right? It's saying in the confession, right? Confession. We have to admit that we are at fault. We have to admit that we fall short. We have to admit anything that we're wrong in anything before we can even receive correction, right? I can't receive correction from you if I think that whatever I'm doing is right, correct? Right. <laughs> um, so it's the same kind of concept. He's faithful and righteous to forgive, but we have to acknowledge that we've messed up. We got to acknowledge that we fall short all the time, daily. So, but yet, but so, you know, regardless of that, God is still faithful and loves us and is just to just forgive us. But the thing is that we have to confess, right? We have to confess. I feel for myself that when in prayer, when I'm confessing to the Lord, where I fall short, I vocalize it. For me, it becomes more real and it becomes almost more tangible, even though it's still just noises and words coming out of my mouth. But it's more tangible than me in silence asking God to forgive me without actually say speaking it. That's just something that I do, right? Um, but at the end of the day, it's just us asking for God to forgive us for where we have fallen short, right? But he is faithful and righteous and he does forgive. But just keep this in mind. With that forgiveness, it is not a get out of jail free card to continue living in the same sin that you're asking for forgiveness from, right? We need to turn. Not only is just ask for forgiveness and chase after him, but we need to do that and then turn, right? Turn, turn away from the direction that we were headed in and go a different route, the route that God's going to take us on. All right, so let's go ahead and pray. Well, dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for this opportunity. Lord, I, I just pray that... Lord, I, I pray that you reveal to us when we're headed in the wrong direction. I pray that there's like an overwhelming sense or some sort of weight within our spirit or in our heart, on our chest, whatever that looks like, Lord, to give us the ability to acknowledge that the path that we're headed down is not something that you would condone, that it is not something righteous, Lord. So I pray, I guess what I'm praying for, Lord, is that you keep us sensitive to your spirit for the things that you would want of us, Lord. Make less of us and more of you in each and every one of our lives, Lord. We love you. We thank you. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Have a beautiful rest of your day.